Hello, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. I'm Noreen, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. I know we've been doing a lot of crafting things lately, but with us being on quarantine, I'm not able to go through as many organizing projects as I would like, and trust me, I miss my organizing. So forgive me while I'm going through more craft things lately, but I am working on a makeover today. So my teenage daughter was kind of bored with her room and she wanted to freshen it up. So that's what we're going through today. Her room was starting to develop a look of its own, which was really cute, but she felt like it was a little bit more juvenile and she wanted this type of aesthetic, which is kind of a 70s vintage look. So we started by just painting the room white. Then we took our tape and masked off the stripes that she wanted and she got to paint for the very first time. So we're teaching her all the tips and tricks of what to do. And now that I know she can do it, she can help me on other projects. So once we were done with all the colored portions, it looked a little bit crazy, but it was time for the reveal and peeling off the tape. And if you have taped before with this painter's tape, you know how satisfying this part is. We just used Valspar paint, which was a pretty affordable at Lowe's, so we didn't use anything crazy. And we only used the small sample sizes because this wasn't going to be a large amount of color, so no need to spend a lot. The samples are like two or three dollars, so this is definitely a great way to go if you're just using a little bit of color in your room. So once we got the big color pops that she wanted done, it was time to start moving things around and decorating. She had seen this little side table that she wanted, but it was a little outside of our budget. So we got lucky and found this little stool. And by taking the legs off, we could replace the top with this trivet that we got at Target, and we're gonna duplicate this table. So the first thing we had to do was take the legs off and this seat or this tabletop was wider in diameter than the trivet, so I'll save that for later. We wiped the legs down so that they were ready to paint and then we just got to town painting it the orange that she liked. This was nice because we got to sit outside and chit chat for a little bit, but you guys, this really is such a quick project. You don't have to be afraid of tackling and trying something. The next thing we did was get a small drill and drill into the holes so that I didn't split the wooden trivet and then screw with the existing screws that came from the original stool right back in. And then once all four legs were on, she had a brand new stool that matched her, her decor and her style. This was a really, really easy DIY upcycle. And here's the after room. So she's really liking this more minimalized look. She loves the pops of color that give it that retro feel, but it's also not a kid room anymore. And I'm so sad my baby's growing up, but this really does fit her style and her aesthetic so much better. I'm always so excited to see what just a little bit of paint and moving things around will do to completely freshen up a room. If you've never tried this before, try it. It might be a little bit scary, but I promise you'll love the end result. Leave me a comment below on how you freshen up your areas on a budget. I love getting the new ideas and tips that you have. Thank you so much for watching today. And I found out that less than 50% of my views are coming from subscribers. So if you haven't taken that second, please hit that subscribe button right now. And I will see you in two days. Bye.